the Harlem shit. Hey YouTube, firstly I really do have to apologize for the intro music and I'm sorry I haven't posted a video in so long but it's because I've been sick and I've been very busy adding a lot of products to our online store. Anyways, I have a little subscriber update for all of you today just to show you a sneak peek of what's in store for the channel. First off we have the new Maximum PCs test bench that I have put together using parts from an old case. I painted the motherboard tray in of course orange and stuck it to this aluminium frame. I think the colours look really great contrasting with each other. Not bad for an afternoon's work huh? Oh and I also dremeled out this big hole here so that I can easily install coolers and water blocks etc. So yes it gives me a lot of room to swap out things as I need and I will definitely be using this bench a lot in some upcoming reviews. So stay tuned and keep an eye out for it. Although, it's not that hard to miss. Moving on, we have the enormous Deep Cool GamerStorm Assassin CPU cooler, sent to me by Anywhere. Thanks guys, I really appreciate your support. So, I will be putting this one through its paces on the new test bench, and hopefully I can compare it to some all-in-one liquid cooling systems, as well as a head-to-head -head against the custom water cooling loop. Speaking of liquid cooling, as you may see here, I have a whole load of water cooling gear which will form part of a liquid cooling tutorial that I'll upload for you guys. I will try to make this one as comprehensive as possible, going through all the different blocks, pump and reservoir setups, different kind of radiators, as well as the millions of options you have in terms of fittings and tubing. You will be surprised as to how many different combinations of parts are available now on the market to water cool your computer and if you don't do your research this can get rather confusing. So hopefully after watching my guide you will know the do's and don'ts before investing in such a system as well as what parts to pick because no one really wants to fry the computer with some leaking water. One particular product I am interested in showing you all is this Mayhem's Aurora coolant which looks something like this. And it comes in a concentrate which you have to mix up with some distilled water. Anyways, I'll definitely have a lot of fun doing a review on this amazing stuff soon. And be sure to check back to see it whizzing around my tubing loop. Oh, and finally we have here an OCZ Reaver Drive X2, which I recently scored a good deal on, probably because it's not the latest model. Anyway, in case you're wondering, this is a solid state drive. However, it's unlike any that you may usually see as this one is actually a card which slots into a PCI Express 4x slot. This particular drive I have here is the 240GB model and the X2 in the name comes from the fact that it uses 4 55GB Sandforce SSDs in a RAID 0 setup. On the back here we get some tech specs with claim read speeds of up to 740MB per second and write speeds of 720MB per second. So I'm really looking forward to see how this Revo drive stacks up to more conventional SATA 3 SSDs like my Intel 520 drive here. Not only this, the Revo drive can also be used as a boot drive or as a standalone drive for data. So that wraps up my little video update for you guys. I would like to thank you all again for watching as Maximum PCs Australia has hit just over 34,000 views. Yay! So be sure to keep sending in all your questions because I read every single comment and I want to help you out in the best way I can. Check back soon for the many exciting videos ahead. Ciao!